So we are standing on the front porch of one of our family housing units. Um, we've got six on campus. Um, we are standing in one of our lofted uh, areas. Um, we've got four lofted units um, that can accommodate up to uh, five people in the, in the home. Um, and then to the left of me are two more units that are ADA compliant ranch style um, that can accommodate up to three people in the, in the home. We've been working on this for a few years. Um, a lot of people like to say that we watch a little bit too much HGTV, um, Tiny Home Nation, stuff like that. Um, and we, we've actually seen, uh, since I've been here, a lot of single moms, single dads who want to get back and get their education and need to bring their kids with them. Um, in our, our traditional residence halls, Campus View 1, 2, and 3, um, we, we, don't, we have a policy that will not allow any uh, people living in the units under the age of 18. Um, and so I would typically get two to three phone calls every year saying, hey, I want to come back to school, I'm signed up for classes, I need somewhere to live, but I've also got a four-year-old son with me. Um, and so we, we saw that need and uh, decided to, to jump into it. Um, while a lot of other schools are getting out of the family housing business, uh, we're getting into it because we see a need for our community. Um, we've got a lot of interest in there and actually have one family that already lives on campus. These units all come fully furnished. Um, the model that we're going to go into today is, uh, is staged, um, as if someone lives there. Um, but they've got all the appliances, uh, stove, refrigerator, uh, microwave, everything you need for your kitchen. We provide all of the furniture, so dining room table and chairs, couch, the beds. Um, this unit here has four beds, uh, two up on the, in the loft, um, a single bedroom, and then a queen-size bed in the master bedroom. Um, and so they are... I like to call them tiny homes and not tiny houses because when people hear tiny house, they think of this, uh, what used to be shipping containers that you'd make tiny homes out of. Um, these, are, these are tiny homes. When we decided to make the, the effort to uh, make it so that parents could live here with their children, we wanted to make sure that we were providing a great safe place for them to have their children.